Good morning. It's April 25th. It's a Tuesday. Today is really exciting because me and the baby are going to meet Anna and Megan at a zoo. We're gonna have, we're just gonna fucking obviously go to the zoo. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit out of it because this morning, as with every other day of my life lately, in the past few months, I'm feeling extremely nauseous. I'm not pregnant. That has been confirmed many a time. Still don't know what's going on and it's incredibly frustrating. I feel defeated a lot. I just hope that today is a good day and I can get my mind off of it and not have it impact our farm day too much. She is napping. She should be waking up any minute now, really, and packing up our bag. We got these new cups, which I'm really excited about. It has a weighted straw because she's actually really good at drinking through a straw now, so I need to be better about her drinking water. Obviously, since she started solids, that's supposed to be accompanied with water because with my breast milk she's getting all the water that she needs but with food she needs to balance that out i'm just getting used to always having a water bottle around for her because i've always got mine yeah i don't know i have not charged this battery so i don't even know if i'll be vlogging much at all today or if i'll be feeling up to it i wanted to start this just in case i am because this will be i feel like a really cute thing to look back on and especially because josh can't be here for it. He was a little bit bummed out that we're going to the zoo for the first time without him, but she's not gonna remember it. We'll take lots of videos and we'll go again someday when he can be there. I'm gonna fill up her water bottle. Maybe I'll show what I packed for a little lunch. Um, she only eats once a day, so at supper time is when we give her like a full meal. Oh yeah, my battery's already dying. So I packed this for her because apparently since it's unsweetened, it's basically the same as all the other pouches. So I'm going to give that to her. And the rest of this is actually just for me. So I've got a peanut butter jam sandwich. Oh, wait, no. She's got one of these little rice crackers, sweet potato. And then I've got cheese, PB and J, granola bar, and some apples. I'm packing my own stuff because, like I said, I've been feeling very, very sick and I'm trying to rule out a whole bunch of different things. So I have to eat things that are gonna be quite easy on my tummy. That means no greasy fast food fries, which is probably all they'll be serving at a canteen or hot dogs. I can't have coffee. That's the one really depressing thing. I am gonna make myself a tea because you best believe that I am going to have a nice fun drink. I can't live without it, but I, I'm just so sad about not having coffee right now. Also, um, I got a, I just realized that I'm smacking my gum. Fuck, that's annoying. I got this homemade handmade a little planter box and yesterday i planted hold on yesterday i planted all the seedlings that i had in my kitchen which i feel like if anything actually does survive it'll be the bean stalks because those were doing really good but at the same time i'm not really super confident in my abilities so i feel like everything that i put in there is going to die which is why i also planted seeds directly into the ground which for some of them you're supposed to do anyway and i planted my bag of lilies that i got from Costco a while back, so that's exciting. Okay, I'm gonna try and just pop this into the charger while I'm waiting for the baby to wake up. <laughs> Your eyes aren't even open yet, you're smiling. <laughs> goodness okay the clock just literally turned to 10 30. um she slept for way longer than i expected her to she actually slept for an hour i think which never happens i just got her packed up and we're going to head out and i'm going to stop at tim's because i can't be bothered to boil water for tea right now so i just wanted to show look at this freaking outfit she's got elmo overalls you can't really tell how cute it is but i swear it's really cute and then I'm also bringing her <laughs> Reebok sweater. I thrifted both of these things like a while back, but they were at her grandparents' house. I forgot about them. Now she's wearing them today and it's really adorable, but I really got to get going. But yeah, I feel bad because I timed it out so that hopefully she'd be almost ready for her second nap by the time we leave, which didn't happen. She slept in this morning until 20 after seven and then for a longer nap. Here we are. I hope everything still goes fine. Okay, gotta leave. Money in my pockets. 
thanks for taking care of my baby. No. Oh, fuck. We're gonna open. <laughs> we gotta go pee together. They're so cute. Hello. Look at that. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever seen them before. I have not, definitely like, not. Look at the hand. Humans. Look at them looking like, what is that? They usually have twins, weigh only 14 ounces and live around 10 years. Oh my god. I want one. <laughs> Be sure to notice that we have a hairless face but are unable to change our facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he's moved his head so much. I think that it's like um, trying to see something like from a different perspective. I don't know. They yeah. suffer from anorexia. What? <laughs> Slowly coming. They heard me with the food. Oh my god, look at this one. Wow, the antlers are crazy. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to oh pump out some more money. Look at this. She's the one with the food. Hi. Oh, yum. I'm sorry, I don't have that any. That was quick. Hi. I want an underduck. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> at, at Car Street, that was like my favorite oh, yeah. player on ever. Making the half shots give you one. <laughs> I'm like sitting on my jacket. I don't have enough room. <laughs> you look hilarious up there. What? Yeah. You look hilarious up off the ground that far. I love it. I should jump. <laughs> yeah. jump over the stroller. <laughs> <laughs> you would make it. There's enough air. Oh <laughs> We're in the same shower. Oh my god, the sun is so nice right now. It's quarter after seven, Josh is putting the baby to bed, and we had a wonderful day. My camera did die, which sucks, but it was really fun to just enjoy it. And I got a couple videos on my phone, but I probably won't put them in here because they're mostly of the baby's face. So yeah, it was just a really wonderful day. I'm so happy that we all went together. I'm glad I got to hang out with them together, but also take the baby to the zoo for the first time. That was really cute, but I also got her this souvenir. The little cow. Oh God. I had to have a souvenir for the first time at the zoo, but also, I keep saying but also, that's annoying. However, there were these adorable little teddy bears, so I had to get it. Say hi to the video. That stuff is gonna taste like fucking shit. Oh. Oh, do not call anybody, please. She has a bunch of her own toys laid out in front of her, but um, she only wants to play with my phone and this camera, and she just threw up all over this camera, so. Anyways, it's only 8.30. She woke up a little after seven, so she had a good sleep in this morning. It's been a very nice morning. Just went on a nice little walk. Super refreshing. I love getting out in the morning because it's like cool, but the sun's out and it just feels so great to get out of the house first thing. Ew. I don't know how she finds these little balls of hair, but they are constantly like in her fists. Anyways, I have errands to run today. Not very exciting ones. I have to return this stupid little baby monitor thing. I was just having a moment where I was like, oh my God, she's gonna start rolling over onto her stomach soon while she's in bed and I'm not gonna know because I'm gonna be asleep. And like, what if she can't figure out how to get back onto her back with her sleep sack on? So I ordered this, it's called a Sensu monitor that you put on their diaper to sense like if they've rolled over. She just turned on the flashlight. Awesome.
Oh my god, that was so fucking scary. Where is that? This motherfucker, I knew I heard music. Why is he going off though? Like there's no possible way, like this is what was singing. That was singing Let It Snow and I got that for Christmas. What the fuck? I thought I could hear like upstairs playing music, which I haven't really ever heard before. So I was like, that's weird. That is so freaky. I don't know how that possibly could have happened. What was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, it would, the, the monitor would sense. I feel like there's throw up on this camera and it's super blurry. Anyways, she just looked up like, who, me? And it also like tracks their breathing and like if they stop breathing for a certain amount of time and whatever, or if they get too cold, it'll alert your phone. I was like, fantastic, that'll help me sleep at night. Um, and I ordered it on a whim because it was on, it said on, I keep falling for these things. It says it's on sale until like the day of or the day after I see the ad. It's on ad, it's like I search it up on the website and that's what comes up, but I feel like that's just them trying to get me to buy it. It fucking worked, but. So I ordered it and then it just didn't work. Like it's, I feel like maybe it does actually work if it's not faulty, but I feel like mine was like had a defect or something because it would just keep disconnecting. And like we have a small apartment and it's all one level. The chances of the Bluetooth like disconnecting because of an actual connection issue is very low. Despite that, it just would not connect and it was so frustrating. And then I started doing research into it like, is this worth like getting a replacement for? Is it gonna actually bring me ease of mind? Is it gonna actually work well? Um, there is literally no research to support the use of those monitors actually preventing like a SIDS death or any related, like if they were to roll over or whatever. It will either give you a false sense of comfort, it will be overreactive and just cause you to lose sleep at night, all those different kinds of things. I am deciding to return it. That is such a long story for no reason. And I'm also returning a dress that I got from Winners because there was a button missing on it. And then I also want to go get a book. Josh keeps telling me like, you do not need to go get another book. You have lots of books to read. But I just read Babel. Nothing is living up to the level that I loved reading Babel. Like I just miss reading and enjoying it and that's how that book felt. And now every book after that one has just been a disappointment and I can't get through it. I'm like, I don't like the writing style or it's too long or it's too complicated. Like I don't, I don't like any. Uh, for example, I started reading The Atlas Six. I'm just not a fan. So I got like halfway through it and I was like, this is just so, there's so much going on with such like, what's the word? With such base level explanation on everything. Like everything is just on the surface and nothing is going into enough depth, but there's so many different ideas that it's just overwhelming. That's not really enjoyable for me. And also I was going, cause I was halfway through, I was like, I might as well just finish it, but there's um, a sequel. So I feel like if I finished that, then I'd feel the need to read the sequel and then it would just be a really big waste of time. So I stopped reading that. And then I picked up Pride and Prejudice because I don't think I've ever read a classic before. I'm just not enjoying it. It's not my thing. I don't know how to describe it. It's just not, it's not my thing. Maybe I'll watch the movie. I feel like such a douchebag for saying that. But then I picked up Midnight Sun because I've been wanting to read that forever. The fifth book in the Twilight Saga that was released in like 2020 or something. And I do think I'm actually gonna finish that one, but it is fucking long. And I have like a goal of number of books. I wanna read 24 this year, so two every month, which for me and given like my lifestyle, that's a lot. So I need some slightly shorter books than 800 pages so that I can actually meet that and also not get too bored. Cause when I have a long book like that, I like to be reading another book anyway so that you get that satisfaction. You don't get bored of reading like it's never gonna end. Basically, I just want to go and buy a book. I'm probably gonna go out after her first nap. We're just gonna hang out now.